be a natural. So your hair is made of three layers, the cuticle, the medulla, and the cortex, right? And so the, out, the outermost layer is the cuticle, so that's the layer that opens. And a lot of people think that, oh, you have to use, you know, like all these things like the lock method to close your hair, but that's not really true. The ways that you open your hair is between temperature and with, um, okay, so to, I know I'm going all over the place, I'm trying to make sure that I like, you know, make, make sure you guys understand by using real world examples. So when you're getting a facial, anybody ever have a facial in here? Yeah. What's the first thing they do? steam your face but you know why they're doing that exactly so why do they tell you to wash your hair with warm water open your hair pores which is your cuticles right and so warmness temperature heat opens up your pores and what happens after you shampoo what they say rinse with exactly so cold water closes it the same way if you're getting a facial what's the last that they do before they put the moisturizer on cover your face with a cold towel something really really cold to close your pores you get it so hot opens, cold closes. So same thing with your hair. If you're using heat, what is heat doing? Straightening it, right? So you can only change the way your cuticles open from heat, hot, hot temperatures, cold temperatures, and then um, of course with pH balance. So an acid closes your cuticles, a base opens it. And that's the reason why relaxer works because it opens all the way up, breaks the disulfide bonds in your hair, then you we close it back, going back to the pH of seven and below. So the reason why I'm explaining that to you is this, when you wash your hair, water is already a seven. If you have hard water, your water might be like higher, like an eight or something like that. The reason why they call it hard water is because it's mineralized to where it's more of a base. So it's harsher on people. You know, your hair might feel like sandpaper afterwards. That's why people are afraid to wash their hair with shampoos and things like that too, because some shampoos are really, really harsh to where the pH is so high that it opens it up. So if you're not careful and use a conditioner to close your cuticles, your hair is open. So as naturals, the reason why that's important to make sure that your products are pH balanced too is because what happens is when your cuticles are open and they stay open, what happens? You get those, those single-stranded knots a lot and the tangles come from your cuticles being open and they're going like this and they're getting stuck and they're getting stuck and then you can't do anything but to clip it off. So that's why frizz is important for us. Frizz is important for other people because they just have big hair versus small hair. But our hair is always big, right? And our hair is always out. <laughs> so what do we care about frizz per se? We don't care about frizz per se. We care about our cuticles not being closed and getting tangled because you're trying to grow your hair and all your hair keeps getting tangled and knotting up and it's cutting off. It's counterintuitive. So that's why it's important to use pH balanced products because it'll bring your hair to the level to where the cuticles are smooth and they rub against each other versus getting tangled and getting caught in knots. Yeah.